It's just another night, and I'm staring at the moon. I saw a shooting star and thought of you. I sang a lullaby by the waterside and knew if you were here, I'd sing to you. You're on the other side. As the skyline splits in two, miles away from seeing you, but I can see the stars from America. I wonder, do you see them too? So open your eyes and see the way I arrive. Chasing cars, and I thought of us. Back to the time you were lying next to me. I looked across and fell in love. And so I took your hand back through Lambert Street and knew everything led back to you. Can you see the stars over Amsterdam? Hear the song my heart is beating to. So open your eyes and see the way I heard. Jens Tanz heads out to sea almost every day from the port of Cuxhaven. He catches shrimp and other marine animals, but a lot of trash ends up in his nets as well. We've caught all sorts of things, he says. Car hoods, bikes, radiators. But most of the trash we catch is small stuff. Plastic pots, beer cans, rubber boots. We've netted hard hats as well. It's that kind of stuff. The world's oceans are turning into a giant trash dump. Researchers estimate that 150 million tons of rubbish is drifting through the seas. And most of that is plastic. 
The North Sea is no exception. There's nothing here like the Great Pacific or Great North Atlantic garbage patch, but there's still plenty of trash in the water. You have to start somewhere, says Jens. For professional fishermen like him, the growing problem of garbage in the seas is a real threat to their livelihood. Things will get really bad if we don't do something about it, he explains. And then we'll have a problem we can't solve anymore. Once the ecosystem is disrupted, it can fall apart. That's just how it is. And that's going to hit what's living in the sea. When the dumpsters are full, they're emptied at this recycling yard. But before the waste is disposed of, it's checked by a team of environmentalists and researchers. They pick through the pile of trash carefully. They want to find out exactly where all this plastic comes from. Niels Müllmann from the German environmental group NABU explains. It's about individual objects, he says, like this classic plastic bottle or container. On the one hand, we can draw conclusions about where these individual objects come from, and moving on from there, we can target the people we need to talk to. Lately I've been 